In this video, we're checking out the CR8 Creative Sampler plugin by Waze Audio. Uh, the link will be in the description box. You can try out a demo version. It works on both Windows and Mac in all DAW, so it doesn't matter which DAW you prefer. So that's one thing I wanted to point out there. We're gonna see if it's good or not, and I want you to weigh in with your hot takes below. Let's go. There are tons of categories to pick from. I just want to show you guys while we're doing the previews or whatnot. And you have several instruments that you can choose from. A lot of them very palatable. I mean, I can go through this right now. You can hear that, you know, the presets aren't bad. And dare I say it, very imaginable as far as the palette. You can kind of hear the lo-fi in this patch because they use key groups. And we'll talk more about that in a second. Here's a patch that demonstrates what you can do in terms of time stretch. And I will lower the BPM. about 81 BPM. For the boring yet informative part of this video where I show you how to use the CR8 and talk about it more in depth about how the sampler works. So let's start off with some of the preliminary functions of this right here, which is the CR8. Uh, one of the things that you can do is just drag in a sample and drop it in any DAW that you want. So I'm just dragging and dropping it over right now and it, it will populate and here it is. So how does that sound?
Well, it sounds like a sound right now. It's nothing spectacular, but then that's where you have to understand the basis of this. So you have different modes that you can do, and that's where I want to show you this right here. Uh, you have classic mode where it's the classic way of play samples. Uh, you also have beat mode where if something is cut evenly in terms of beats per measure, you will have it sync. Like if you drag some drums in there, and we'll talk more about that later. You have other features, of course, uh, with this, and this is where I want to show you right now. Uh, you have a play mode and launch mode. Launch mode would be more for like one shots before when you want to. Uh, set up your key groups inside of the CR8, uh, which you can set up a different group for maybe you want to layer another sound on top of that. Let's try something. And uh, uh, you can solo the sound, the second sound in here, which if I play a C, let's get it a little higher an octave, and I go back to the other sample. Uh, then you'll see what I'm talking about real quick. So let's tune it to C uh, using the fine tune. There we go. And then now I will tune this. And now when I bring it back together and unsole it, Uh, there's also different modes over here that I want to point out here. You can turn this off and then you can just bring your attention to the bottom left part of the screen. One of the cool things about this UI, and I had to uh, apply uh, ways for this because they're not known for having the best of UIs, but if you hover over a parameter, uh, you have information at the bottom left side of the plugin and you'll see what everything, how everything works. So if I wanted to sync it, uh, turn it off, turn off syncing on one layer. And by the way, it, this works per layer. So uh, just keep that in mind too. So if I want to do something melodic on this one uh, and choose unison on this, uh, I can do it on there and then go back and forth. Uh, it's quite confusing at first, but then you'll see what I'm talking about a little later. Uh, so you can also choose to glide. Uh, you can choose to glide between voices. You can choose the amount of voices. Uh, you can tune up here. And I believe this is global. So let's tune it up. Uh, let's say that sound, the second sound that I use is a little louder. Then uh, I can just go ahead and lower the volume on it. So, so you can hear the original one shot. And that's something that, you know, other samplers don't do very well as far as like layering goes. And you can also route them uh, to specific keys too. So you can have multiple key groups and round them off and choose the amount of velocity. You have other functionality too. Of course, you can choose to start an endpoint. And also you can choose uh, how far you want the route, if you want it to fade. Uh, and, and you have these features over here, snap into beat and stuff like that. So maybe I, I heard a sound in here. Uh, all right, so let's say I wanted to use that sound and I'm gonna go into beat mode and add, and then have it loop. And let's go ahead and mess with the BPM so I can show you further that it works that way. I know it's a little low in volume. So this is your playground to uh, create your own sounds using one shot uh, WAV files. And, you know, speaking of which you can dive into the library too. So one of the things I wanted to show off here is, uh, let's go into CR8, and then I will hit this button, which brings up Cosmos. Uh, and what Cosmos is, it's a machine learning AI driven 
way to uh, pull up samples and to organize your samples. And it comes for free with, uh, you, if you want to download it, you can. So the link's in the description box if you just want to download that instead of CR8. But uh, there is a demo version of this, by the way. But yeah, you can add any folders that you want. So you can uh, use machine learning, which uses uh, the information from a previous transient. And then it tries to figure out something close to the palette of the sound that you use prior to this, as well as uh, organized sounds by different genres too. So that is one thing I do like about uh, the CR8. I know a lot of people will wonder if you can actually uh, get to the point where you can set up uh, loop points, and yes you can. It's just not available in launch mode, so you will go to play mode, uh, set up a loop point here, and then adjust it. And if you want to smooth things out, of course you can do that as well. So one of the questions I know people ask is, can you set up like loop points? Well, make sure you're in the proper mode. If you're in launch mode, you cannot set up a loop point, but if you're on play mode, then you can. So I have it on play mode beats and you can adjust the speed. Let's get rid of the third layer right now. get back into here and you can adjust it either by beats and bars which makes this kind of unique to other things that have, that's available on the market either inside of your DAW or not uh, that is something that I, I truly like so uh, one of the things I saw people talk about is could you like offset or could you uh, change the speed and have it move slower faster and so forth so uh, one thing I find a little annoying is the clicking. So you can resize this and I'll show you right here. You just use the hamburger menu. Uh, let's go to 200%. Uh, it shouldn't be too big on my 1080p screen. And uh, now you can really see everything for what it's worth and I don't have to do any zooming or anything like that. So that's really cool, right? Then you have your filter section where you can add stuff to a filter. drive you know your typical things you can change it whatever sound that you're using and then you can modulate it so you can just drag and drop your modulation in there and if you need to see the modulation let me resize this real quick uh, you can use this menu right down here it's a drop down menu and you can control like the cutoff do I, do I? Give, do I? This give this the stamp, the stamp of, of approval, approval. Well, for its utility, I enjoy it, and especially Cosmos. Uh, it, that's not the first one on the market, but it's not about being first as it is about being better. So I would say about 87%. It's pretty decent.